Hello, this is David Starr, and we're going to take an in-depth look at publishing private plans for SaaS offers. Now, we've already created an offer in the module entitled Publishing a SaaS Offer. This brief module will focus exclusively on creating a private plan for that offer. You'll learn about private plans, what they are, and why you might want to use them. And then you'll learn how to publish a private plan from within Partner Center. First, let's kick it off by talking about private plans, what they are, and why we might care about them. Firstly, a typical SaaS offer has at least one plan that can be subscribed to. It's common to have multiple public plans representing different versions of your product or solution. I like to think of a silver gold platinum model just for ease of purpose. While offers are public, a plan can be public or private. And when a plan is private, that means it's only available to the customers that you designate as the publisher of that plan. Now we create private plans in Partner Center just like public plans. Not too big of a difference as we'll see. One thing to keep in mind is that they're only available when you have a paid plan. That is, your plan must be one for which your customer will be charged. Free plans are not supported. Now, while you might create a custom plan to accommodate custom terms and conditions, the most common reason to have a custom plan is to accommodate custom pricing. So let's assume that you've negotiated a custom price. In our case, for our example today, we're gonna to say 20% off of your standard pricing model. Here we have our three public plans as we saw a moment ago. What happens when we want to add a private plan? The short answer is that we just create one in Partner Center and make it available to our customer. We'll see how to do this in just a moment. We then assign a customer to the private plan so they can see and buy it in the Azure portal. The great thing about a private plan is that you can share it with multiple customers. If you have a price point that is negotiated more than once, just add more customers to the private plan. And of course, we can continue expanding our offer to have multiple private plans. You aren't limited to just one private plan per offer. Now we're starting off in Partner Center with an offer with a view of its plans. Let's take a look. You might recognize the SaaS demo offer we worked with in previous videos. We're going to go into that offer and create a private plan for it. Now we can see all of the plans that are currently associated with the SaaS demo offer. And we already have a few private plans that have been created. In fact, three. One for 15% off, one for Fabricam, the company that struck a private deal, and one for Acme Core, who's done the same. What we want is to create a 20% off plan so that we can apply it to any customer who we strike a deal with for 20% off. Let's see how to do that. Firstly, we come up to create new plan and let's give it an ID. Let's give it an ID of 20% off just to make it simple and we'll give it a name of 20% off just like we had for our 15% off and we'll create this new plan. Now it's not private yet, that's something we're going to see to in a moment. For right now, we're going to go ahead and fill in the description. We'll just put some filler text and call this a 20% off private plan. That's the description we'll use and save draft as always. Now we come down to pricing and availability. You may recall from previous videos where we created plans on our offer that we need to add a market into which we're going to sell. And in this case, we'll just choose United States. 
and we also need pricing. So for example purposes, I'm going to use zero dollar pricing. And the interesting part now is when we come down to plan visibility, I'm going to choose private plan. And now what we want to do is designate which of our customers are allowed to purchase this plan. Now the way we do that is by asking them for their tenant ID. Our customer learned how to get their tenant ID in a previous video, purchasing a private plan. Once they give you that tenant ID, it will look something like this. And we can add a description. Perhaps this is the customer name that we want to use and it may be a datum corp. Now notice that we can add more than one ID. We're not going to in this case. And we can also import up to 20,000 potential customers for these plans, but that's distributed across all the plans that we have, all the private plans that are on this offer. Nevertheless, you can import with a CSV file if you have a large quantity of customers that you want to apply to our 20% off plan. We go ahead and save draft and then as usual hit review and publish to make sure that our offer has everything correctly configured on it. And in this case it does. We've got a new plan called 20% off that will be published as soon as we hit the publish button. I'm not going to do this because you've seen it before in the creating a SaaS offer video. But creating a private plan for your SaaS offer is just this simple. So what do we talk about? We discussed the nature of private plans for SaaS offers, what they are, and why we would want to use them. And we saw how to publish a private plan from an existing offer. Thank you for joining me in this module of Mastering the Marketplace series focused on SaaS offers.